And the story I'm most sad to have missed concerned the sudden mania around a hole shaped like a rat on a Chicago street, or <laughs> rat hole, as it became known, which probably peaked with this. You knew it was inevitable, a Chicago rat hole wedding. <laughs> Dane Placco, yes, on last night's episode of Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Yes, Jake joins us now with that story that just keeps on giving, Jake. I was so excited. So I, I'm a big fan of Last Week Tonight, and I normally watch it. It's too late on Sunday night, so uh -huh. I'll watch it Monday morning as I'm getting ready for work. That's why we got and your email I, yeah, And I screamed out loud this morning uh -huh. whenever I saw that handsome, <laughs> that handsome Dane Placco face. Yeah, the Chicago rat hole story truly is the story that, for better or worse, just won't go away. But after returning from a two-month hiatus, John Oliver has declared it the story he is most disappointed he missed out on covering while he was on break. What's more, the newest episode of Last Week Tonight used Fox 32 and Dane Placco's coverage of the story to supplement his own coverage. He went on to criticize the covering of that rat hole, but said of all the big stories he missed while on vacation and over the last two months, there have been a few, this was the biggest. Dane Placco continues to prove just why he truly is a Chicago <laughs> legend. I like to say, Love it. I have worked at the station for coming up on 11 years. Uh -huh. I still geek out when Dane Placco rolls into yeah, There's yeah, yeah. something right. kind of special about he's a, the man. He's a celebrity yeah. among celebrities, <laughs> yeah, right? As someone who is surrounded by celebrities at all times, move aside, George Clooney. Step down, Dane Brad Placco. Pitt. Dane Placco's Dane walking Placco's in the house. Through. There you go. Now we got to play this back for him because yes, I don't do. know. He <laughs> might be asleep.